Hello, this is Motor Test of the Week. Um, this week I'm going to be testing an, another in-runner motor. Um, but this one is basically it's the one that I took out of my 60mm fan. Uh, replaced it with a different motor. Um, but you can't actually get that motor anymore. Um, but these ones are very similar. Um, this, these are Kader model motors. Uh, the one I had uh, the one I'm testing now is a Black Mantis uh, motor but they have basically the same specs although um, I think you could push the Black Mantis ones a little bit more uh, but they're about the same anyway so it's about the same specs so the shafts on it is 3.17mm uh, uh, they're 135 grams in weight uh, this particular one is a 28 by 47 size and they, they do quite a different uh, range of uh, KVs, but this one is this one. It's a 2847 uh, 10 turn, and it is 3900 KV. Uh, on here it says maximum of 40 amps and a max voltage of 15.3 volts, which is a bit odd. Uh, but I think I have pushed this uh, particular motor in a different ducted fan just giving it a burst um, I have pushed it quite a lot over that <laughs> so uh, I mean what would the wattage be on that let's uh, get the old calculator out uh, so that would be 40 times 15.3 and it says 600 watts but I think I've pushed these. Mo I pushed this motor well over um, 800, so hopefully it'll be alright. Um, yeah, but that's this motor. Because what I'm thinking of doing is making another Slipso 400. Um, I don't know if you've seen on uh, RC groups that they there's loads of different ones. Uh, Basically, going to RC groups, put in Slipso 400, and you'll find this page where this guy's come up with uh, plans and the build for this model, and it's brilliant. I made a little one uh, quite a while ago. I keep trying to get out and flying it again. I haven't got round to it yet, so I've got one video of it flying, and mine was pretty pretty awesome pretty quick it, I've made it slightly smaller than what the standard size was and uh, yeah this guy's pretty good there's, there's loads of them on here it's the thread on here is huge um, yeah it makes quite a good job of that and it's uh, evolved to quite a decent uh, thread on here there's, there's so many I mean if you get a pictures there's so many pictures on there uh, some good some bad <laughs> um, but yeah some are pretty decent I've, uh, other people slip those that they've made uh, this particular one that I'm going to be making um, I'm not sure exactly what size it would be but it would be over the standard size and um, Actually, just so I can fit uh, fit the bigger motor and uh, a decent sized battery in it. So uh, I'll probably be modifying the plans somewhat. Uh, yeah, but loads of people have made these and they're brilliant little planes. <laughs> they're so quick. And yeah, they're, they're really fast. I mean, um, even with a little 20mm in runner, mine was going well well over a hundred miles an hour <laughs> it was pretty awesome right um, yeah so if you go on RC groups you can find Slipso and I'm going to be testing a motor which I'm hoping to do my uh, second Slipso uh, I'm hoping to be doing quite a range of them actually different sizes with different size motors in um, I thought I'd try this motor that I've taken out of a ducted fan and give that one a try and uh, 
in this lip so I want to see what size prop it will turn I haven't actually ever tried it with a propeller um, so yeah let's give this one a go 3900 kV 2047 and uh, let's see what sort of prop it will turn so I can get it in the old pylon racer well once I've made it they're, they're balsa planes so that's quite an extensive uh, build and I will be fiberglassing it and try and make it nice and strong and I don't know, depending on how this motor works out I might end up putting a different motor in it at some point or just making another one with an even more powerful motor I've got a couple of motors that I want to put in them and uh, see if I can end up trying to get one to do 200 miles an hour which would be crazy anyway I've got it all rigged up on the uh, thrust stand so let's start testing some props okay here we are um, as you see these black mantis in runners are of a grey colour uh, but I've had a few of these and I've found them to be uh, pretty damn good uh, first prop I'm going to try on 3 cell is I'm going to start off very small is a 4.1 by 4.1 TGS sports prop and the battery I'm using is a Zippy 2200 milliamp 40C 3 cell um, I also have a Hobby King 60 amp ESC right so let's see what we can get on the thrust just with a tiny little 4.1 prop oh, loud <laughs> not that much thrust and it's a small prop after all Cool. <laughs> By me. That drew quite a lot of current, even with such a small prop. By me. Hmm. Let's give that another blast and check the temperatures of it. Temperatures are fifty five amps, six hundred and thirty six watts. Hmm, I have made it a bit warm. Thirty nine degrees in there, thirty nine degrees in there. front I mean I can fit a heat sink on them right uh, I don't know whether to try another prop on that or not um, yes let's stick another prop on there okay now I'm trying a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS prop uh, Christ knows what this is going to be like Probably way over specs for the motor, but let's give it a go. That went bad. That no, went too bad. I mean, I didn't, I didn't bother charging the battery back up, but. Too bad. Hmm. That was alright. Right, let's give one more proper try on 3 cell. Right, I just thought I'd try this uh, prop as a comparison. This is a APC 4.5 by 4 prop. So let's uh, give this one a try. Uh, 
had not as much thrust as the TGS. Uh, slightly less current draw, but then the battery isn't fully topped up. Right, let's give this a try on a 4 cell. Okay, for this 4 cell test, I'm going to start off really small on the propeller. Uh, what I have is a Gemfan 4045 carbon reinforced nylon prop, and these are pretty good, they're pretty damn tough uh, it is only small but uh, I'll give it a go on this motor um, battery is a Hyperion 2200mAh 35C 4 cell right, let's give this a go Out. Well, they're really good these props. Only 50 amps, 749 watts. Yeah, although, see how thin that is. I'm not sure if it's a true 4.5 pitch. But it doesn't half zing up well. Let's uh, check temps there. Only 34 degrees. Alright. Uh, do I dare try a TGS 4.1 by 4.1? Yeah, let's stick that on. Okay, I got the TGS 4.1 by 4.1 prop on there. Um, I didn't bother topping up the battery, but uh, let's give this a go. I'm just going to give this a very quick run and then uh, check the readings. Oh! <laughs> No, I'd say that was probably too much for it. Yeah, that's that's too much. So I think uh, <laughs> I won't be doing another run on that. So I think if I do run it on the four cell. Uh, Gonna have to be with one of these gem fan props, but I mean, it should still, if I put it in the slip, so it should still be pretty fast, even on three cell. Um, not blisteringly fast, but reasonable. But that is, yeah, those figures are a bit dodgy. <laughs> So I don't think I'll be doing that. Right, anyway. That was this motor test of the week on my Black Mantis 2847 3900 KV. Right, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Do a motor test every week. Wait until I run out of motors. <laughs> um, but yeah, see you again. Bye bye for now.